songs on Zoe's Extraordinary Playlist are usually fun and lighthearted, but the show also doesn't shy away from the more serious stuff. It's also taken on things like relationship issues, grief, and in the latest episode, racial bias in the workplace. Actor John Clarence Stewart, who plays Simon, is chatting about how the show is singing a bit of a different tune in tomorrow night's new episode. In episode five, Simon finds out that there's some inequity in the AI that Sparkpoint is using. And he realizes that it doesn't recognize black and brown bodies or faces, right? Wait, it can't see people of color? It can, just very, very poorly. Uh-huh. Obviously, this is potentially damaging, if not handled delicately. Thankfully, we've got the greatest guy in the world to get out in front of this with the media. Okay. So that's the one thing. Also, he's in a specific position as a black man and the PR spokesperson newly appointed at the company that he has to mitigate the damage and um, kind of quell the press inquiry, right? So in order to do that, he has to speak favorably in a situation that, that disenfranchises people that are like him. And he has a big decision to make. At the end of the episode, Simon speaks up and says that there's systemic racism in the workplace, which is why there's such a blind spot when it comes to all the AI tech. We get to see a lot of joy in the episode because I think it's important that we, as we're talking about a very serious topic of systemic racism in the workplace, something that is um, still very much prevalent. And this is, if anything, an aspirational story. There's a whole lot of black joy in this, and I'm happy, happy, happy about the balance we've struck. John, I want you to tell everybody about some of the songs that you get to sing during this episode. Um, I get to sing a song called Black Man in a White World, and a Black Man in a White World um, by Michael Kilnaka. And uh, it's, it's the song just perfectly embodies Simon's dilemma. And then another song that I'm a part of is Tightrope by Janelle Monet. I love her! I mean, I mean, just <laughs> stay tuned, because it's about to be crazy! <laughs> it's going to be a great time. You know, you got a little bit of, uh, of H-Town representing the show, too, with my girl Lizzo! Lizzo's in the house! <laughs> in the house, in the house, in the house, in the yo. I'm telling you, as far as being able to sing "Juice" by Lizzo, talk about talk about just the embodiment, just the embodiment of Black joy. It was such a gift to even, you know, come into contact with Juice in the way that I was able to on the show. Uh, so I'm very grateful for that. One thing that I'm really, really proud of in the show, and I think this idea that they wanted Zoe to learn, they wanted Zoe to go through things with these people that she loves and cares about. And the more that we can have conversations like this, the more that we have stories told with this kind of intention and this kind of care, the more able we are to, to create the room to have these charged conversations without inflicting wounds on each other. We just love the show. Zoe's Extraordinary Playlist. Make sure you catch it tomorrow night right here on KPRC. John Clarence Stewart, you are Simon, one of our favorite characters. We do appreciate you taking the time. And, you know, while we're watching that, we're going to be singing Lizzo right there with you, representing that H-Town. <laughs> 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 okay, thank you. Thank you, guys. <laughs> thank you. And make sure, make sure you guys catch the new episode of Zor uh, Zoe's Extraordinary Playlist tomorrow night at 7 o'clock right here on KPRC2.